What's up, y'all? What's up, y'all? This is Avis, and I am back with another video. What's up? How y'all doing today? Y'all, coming back with another video. Today is January the 27th, and um, I'm going to cook some dinner. So, I know y'all be asking for the cooking vlog, so here go another one, okay? Today, I'm going to be making some Cajun chicken alfredo. And I'm gonna bring y'all along, okay? So um, don't forget to like, press that like button, guys, and subscribe to the channel if you like watching my videos, okay? So let's get on into this cooking so I can have this food ready before these kids get home. Let's go. Okay, guys, so I have all my seasonings set up right here. This is what I will be seasoning my meat with. And um, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna start off with, I'm gonna use some all-purpose seasoning. I wanna say Goya, Goya. Hope I'm saying that right, but I wanna use, I'm, a, I'm gonna use some all-purpose seasoning. Okay, I'm gonna use some Dad's salt-free table blend seasoning. I'm gonna use some onion powder. I'm gonna use some minced garlic. I'm gonna use some complete seasoning. That's that Creole, that's that Cajun. I'm gonna use some Tony's, okay? And some black pepper. Here go my chicken breast that I bought from Sam's Club. It, it got, um, how many chicken breasts in here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's about six to seven chicken breasts in here. I'm gonna take probably about, well, I'll let y'all know how much I, I'll show y'all how much I take out and I'm gonna cut these, slice them in half. I'm also going to add some broccoli to my Alfredo. Okay, I have some heavy whipping cream milk to make the Alfredo sauce. I got two bags of Parmesan cheese. And I have some penny noodles. I like to switch my noodles up, so this time I will be using two boxes of penny noodles. Okay, y'all, so let's get into this cooking vlog. Okay, guys, so I actually eight um, chicken breast slices came in the pack for $15. I think that's pretty good. Need some pretty good nice size breasts. I took four out. And like I said, I'm going to slice these in half long ways. I'm going to slice them in half this way. And um, cut off some of that fat. I already done rinsed them off and all that. Then clinked them. So now I'm about to just cut off some of the fat. Okay, now, y'all, this is dull right here. My handle had broke off on my knife. So I'm just going to show y'all a little bit. And I'm just going to go ahead and cut the rest off camera. My handle had just broke. So I'm just gonna cut off a little bit of that fat. I'm not gonna be able to get all the pieces. But what I can, I can leave that on there. Mm -hmm. I think that one good. So let's put that one back here. Pieces like this. But y'all get the drift. Okay, guys, 
guys, so basically I noticed, well, with the rest of the fat, I pulled it off with my fingers. I didn't even use the knife no more. So, I, like I said, I got off what I could. I am now about to season this meat. First, gonna start off with our Goya. And I already have my pans heating for the uh, noodles. And my pan heating for my chicken. I'm now putting on there some complete. Get the tops off. So I get done. Put on there some onion powder. Some table blend. I'm gonna flip it over guys and do this to this do this to the other side too. Okay y'all, I have seasoned both sides. This is what the chicken is giving. This is how it look. And now I am about to let me get y'all set up. Give me one second. Now I'm about to add it to this pan. I'm gonna add half of this, or probably this much of butter. I'm gonna add about two tablespoons of butter to the pan, and I'm gonna go ahead and fry my chicken breast. Y'all stay tuned. Fry my chicken breast in the skillet. Right now I have my pan on a high to um, get the skillet hot and I will turn it down to um, medium high or medium when I, once I get my medium. Okay, I feel like my butter better good enough. So go ahead and add some chicken breast. See how they look, y'all. Okay, I added the the second batch to the pan. I have my other um, I have my other chicken sitting up here. This is what it's giving. Put the paper towel on top to kind of keep the moisture in. But yeah, guys. Mm, look at that steam coming out of there. Woo. Okay guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and add the noodles to the pot. I'm gonna have to switch my pan 
So I can't fit both of my big pans on this aisle. So I'm gonna go ahead and let the noodles cook. I did add a um, cap of canola oil to the water. And my water is boiling and I am now adding the noodles so they can go ahead and cook so I get that sauce going. The best part of the meal. So let me go ahead and so let that cook and I will be right back once my noodles is done. Okay, y'all, so the noodles is done and drained. I removed the pot. I'm going to put a little bit of uh, butter in this pot. And I'm going to change it over to another plot, pot. Oh, oh yeah, y'all saw that. But I'm going to change it over to another pot, y'all. I'm just going to put this butter in here so I can get all the juices from this pot and then put it in another pot. And the reason why I'm changing it into another pot, cause this pot is not big enough to make my sauce. But I wanna add and it's coming right up. Can y'all see that? Let me see. I need all that flavor. And my and my other pan that'll make my sauce in. So that butter made it come right up. Yes, sir. Okay. Let me switch the pan. I'm going to use this pan right here to make the sauce. And that ain't nothing but flavor right there. All that flavor. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and add the rest of this butter. Some minced garlic. Can y'all see that? No, and all that goodness in the pan. Mm-hmm. Right now, I have my um, pan on medium. Okay, so now we're gonna add a little bit of Cajun seasoning. I'm always playing with her all the time. That's enough damn salt there, Willie. I know. Then I'm about to add some heavy whipping cream. Oh, 
I'm now gonna add some Parmesan cheese. milk and I'm gonna add the rest of the bag of Parmesan cheese I got two bags so Letting it come to a boil, as you see. I'm gonna go ahead and rinse off my broccoli and add it to my noodles pot. Cause it, you know, broccoli can steam and heat, so. Okay, y'all, uh, back to the sauce. So I'm gonna pour this in the pot. It kind of sticked a little bit. I guess I took too long I'm putting broccoli in, but it's good. I still got more cheese and milk left. Let me give it a taste. Mmm, wonderful. I'm gonna add the rest of this cheese. This is the second bag, I'm gonna add the rest of it and a little bit more milk and I'll come back as I'm pouring it in on my noodles. Okay, y'all, here go my chicken. I am now about to cut this chicken up and add it to the pot. Y'all, it's so juicy and it's seasoned very good. Oh my gosh. Y'all, it's so, this meat is so juicy, y'all, and it tastes very good. Okay, y'all, I got the chicken all cut up, and I, and I am now about to add it to the pot. Oh, that looks so good. Mm-hmm. Okay, y'all, so I got it all mixed in the pot, and I'm now about to pour the sauce on it. Look at all that goodness, y'all. Okay, y'all, this is how the chicken Alfredo is looking. And it tastes so good, y'all. I already done tasted it. Look at all that creamy juiciness. Yes, that cream on them noodles. Look at that. Look at that cream. Look at that. Yes, sir. Okay, y'all. So this is gonna conclude this cooking video. This this is the end of this cooking video, y'all. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed it. Um, yeah, I'm about ready to eat. As soon as the kids get, the rest of the kids get here, we're gonna eat, y'all. And um, yeah, y'all, why is it 70 degrees outside? It was warm yesterday and it's warm today. What is going on? 70 degrees today, y'all. In January? 
mm -mm, I don't know what's going on. But yeah, I'm about to end this video, guys. Don't forget to press that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you watch my videos. And until next video, I will see y'all in the next video. Thank y'all for watching. Peace. Peace.